I, Dr. Binu Singh, Assistant Professor at Biani Group of Colleges on behalf of Guru KPO welcomes you. Today, I am going to deliver a lecture on Sanskritization, a topic given by M. N. Srinivas and the topic is related to sociology. Sanskritization is a term which was coined by M. N. Srinivas in 1952. He studied the Kurup society of South India and found that the lower caste were imitating the higher caste rituals, beliefs, practices and cultural ideas. And so he coined the term as Brahminization. Later on, he studied in North India that the lower caste were focusing on the higher caste of, uh, that is Rajput style of living. And so he re-coined the term as Sanskritization. Now let us come on to the definition. It is the way a process by which the lower caste starts take, believing in the uh, beliefs, rituals, practices and cultural tradition of higher caste people. Many a times this process leads to denying of good and functional uh, processes like for example the lower caste uh, um, uh, agrees with the widow re remarriage and intercaste marriages but because of the process of Sanskritization they gave up such habit and they started believing in irrational practices. Let us take for one example the Brahmins were women are supposed to believe their husband as deity and they are supposed to take their meals uh, once their husband takes it. So the lower caste started taking such practices into consideration and it is not the one way process, it is a two way process. Many a times desanskritization also occurs. Now let us come on to the features of Sanskritization. First feature is it is integrated with economic and political domination. The main objective many a times when the lower caste is able to enjoy the economic and political domination, it leads to the process of Sanskritization. Next, many a times economic betterment is not only the precondition for Sanskritization, the uh, position to, uh, to be acquired as a higher status is also a precondition for Sanskritization. Then it is not one way process, it is a two way process. For example, it is uh, the, uh, uh, the Brahmins not only gave, uh, gave up their practices and they started following the local deities. Next, the unit of mobility is not individual but group. And yes, which pro uh, the British rule provided a fire to this process of Sanskritization. Next, it is primarily a cultural change and not the structural change. Next, it may does not automatically result in higher status. Many a times you have to follow those practices and tradition for very long period of time even after that the process of Sanskritization is not complete. There are many factors which led to the process of Sanskritization. They are education, political scenario, economic domination and many more. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my video lectures. For more details contact www.gurukpo.com.